corn and soybeans weren't the only crops impacted by the cold, wet weather we had this spring. Alfalfa and hay farmers are behind as well. And without a good crop, dairy farmers will likely have to pay more to feed their cows. New at 6, WCCO's John Lordson shows us why the timing couldn't be worse. We've been doing this probably 15 years already, and it's, it's by far the worst year we've ever had. By July, Greg Otto was hoping things would be better. He's chopping hay for cow feed, working quickly to get it done. But that doesn't mean his harvest will amount to much. He's expecting a silage shortage. It's uh, been extremely tough to well, even find a window to cut it. Uh, and then if you do get it cut to get it dry is about impossible this year. It's, it's poor quality. It's late, it's old, it's just, uh, just just a challenging year. A couple miles away, Dave Marquardt is pondering a similar problem on his farm near Howard Lake. You should have plants right next to each other all around here and stuff, and not a, not a big gap. Dave was one of the lucky ones when it came to planting corn, but not nearly as lucky when it came to alfalfa. I think we had too much cold before the snow came in in January and stuff, and so I think that's that caused, uh, caused a fair amount of winter kill. The USDA says this isn't just a Minnesota concern. In some parts of the Midwest, hay stocks are down more than 30% compared to a year ago. When things finally greened up this spring, Wisconsin farmers also noticed more grass and clover surrounding their alfalfa. The polar vortex we saw in January is getting much of the blame, with so many fields looking like this. Dairy farmers can expect to pay more for feed during a time when some of them are already struggling. A small square bale, which we typically would sell in years past for like $4, is going for upwards of $10 um, because there's just, there's just such a short supply. Or if you're, you're able to find it, it's great, you know, and, and sell it, that's great. But if you're short on it, it's, it's one more expense that uh, is tough to swallow right now. In Howard Lake, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Dairy farmers say it's too soon to know if this added cost will be passed on to consumers. They hope that this hot weather can dry out the crops. In parts of Indiana and Ohio, hay is going for as much as $250 a bale.